some API endpoints are not meant for everyone and you will definitely limit your resource to only a few users. God will come in handy for your needs. In the next few minutes, I will show you how to work with Nest.js God. I've created a simple application that returns hello world string. Now, what I want to do next is to only allow certain user to access the hello world string. Imagine that we have a user request payload that are being sent perhaps from the header. We have our name and also the roles. After that, I will define that this endpoint is only for admin role. So if the user doesn't have the role, it will be thrown as non authorized error. If the required admin role is not part of the user list of roles, I will need to perform something. And in this case, I will just throw an unauthorized exception to the user. When I hit the endpoint again, I will see that I am actually not authorized to access the resource. When we look back to our code, there's quite a lot of noise going around here. So maybe we can refactor this by using rules guard. Let us create the guard by using the Nest.js CLI. As you can see, the guard is just returning a simple true boolean value right now. Let's try to modify that. I will cut my mock header and also my uh, validation. I will paste those things inside my newly created guard. Make sure that you have imported anything that is missing and after that head over to your controller again. We will start implementing our guard by using use guards and after that you can use your guard that you have created just now which is roles guard. Now in your guard there are some things that you may not need. You can see that I have thrown some exception. You can just return false and the guard will handle it for you. We can confirm this by going to our postman and try to send the request again. Even without the thrown exception, Nest.js is pretty smart enough to handle exception when we return false previously. We can confirm this by, as an example, returning true even if the user is not an admin. Sending the request again, we are now able to see the hello world string. By this basic example, we can start to see some pattern. If the guard returns true, user can access the root. If it is being written with false, we will receive an error. I figure I could share with you guys some bonus. Our guard is currently fixated to one endpoint. What if I want to handle things more dynamically? I have another endpoint called cat and I would like to open this for everyone. At the same time, my hello world will remain with its current role guard. I would like to so-called attach a metadata of roles with value of admin to this get hello method. This metadata will be passed toward the guard. Finally, I can safely assign this guard to the whole controller. An extra tips, if you hover over the set metadata decorator, you can understand better what it does. Remember this guy? How are we going to access the value from the guard? Now, inside our guard, we will implement a constructor that actually inject reflector class. Now, here's where the fun begins. We will use reflector.get method to retrieve a value from previous metadata. Let us try to console log and see how our roles actually is. When I hit the first endpoint we created just now with admin role, we can see that it is logged as admin. But when I access the public cat endpoint, it is logged as undefined since we did not set the metadata. I could try for example sake set the metadata here with the role of public. Run the server again and we can now see a public value is being logged into the console. I will remove the set metadata example here. I will share with you another trick. Instead of using set metadata, you can actually define your own decorator that are more readable to other developers. Let's try to generate the decorator first.
I am going to remove this whole block of code and let's try to write our own decorator. I will pass in a single role parameter and inside the set metadata, I will pass key of roles and I will set the role parameter as the value itself. When we head over to our controller, we can see it's actually the same thing. To make use of this decorator, head over to your controller again, remove the set metadata that you have created previously and replace it with roles decorator itself. And inside the parameter, you can assign whatever role that you want to assign. And finally, let's do some final check. If no roles value found, meaning we have not assigned roles decorator like in our public cat controller, for example, we can safely assume this endpoint does not need a guard. We can see that we don't have to actually assign the decorator here since we are not using the guard itself since this is just a public endpoint so everyone can actually access the endpoint. Now let's try to validate everything is working fine. Let's try to hit the endpoints again. I can see that I can now access both the cat public endpoint and also the private hello world string endpoint. Now to summarize, remember that guard is just a layer that handles true or false written value. How you're going to handle the written value is totally up to you. I hope you guys enjoy watching the video. If it helps, I do appreciate if you can hit the subscribe button. It's totally free and I will post more videos every week and I'll see you guys on the next video.